What's up, y'all? Big ups to our friends and sponsors, Epicuse, and it's time to crush the end of summer and kick off the fall. When we kick it off, we mean football season, y'all. And there ain't nothing better to have as a standard dish that you know than the classic chicken wing dip. The magic play for any time you're cooking is actually not the recipe all the time. Most of the time, it's using good quality ingredients. So our friends at Epicuse hooked us up with some good stuff here. Uh, the other thing too that's important, a chicken wing dip has become kind of common. My wife would call it pedestrian, don't you know? But for us, a good chicken wing dip can be a home run hitter. We're talking a deep threat on the team. But you have to make it right. So here's a couple tricks about it. Number one, many people that make chicken wing dip just use regular hot sauce, not buffalo wing sauce, and that's the difference. Buffalo sauce is different than regular wing sauce. Regular wing sauce is like hot sauce. Buffalo sauce includes butter, so we're gonna use one cup, and we've put it cold, but we've cut it up into slices so it'll melt more evenly in our wing sauce. That's one of the key ingredients. The next key ingredient is white vinegar. This gives us a nice bite. So we've got one and a half tablespoons of white vinegar. Yeah. This is pretty critical. We also have a quarter teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Even though we don't love the Patriots, it's a New England thing, but it adds a nice little variant to this. It really kind of drives things in the right direction. Our active ingredient we have is hot sauce, right? So we're using Hoff's that we got at Epicuse, and this is just, if you pardon the pun, fire. It's a big play, and we're using about three and a half ounces of hot sauce into our pan. So basically, buffalo wing sauce is just hot sauce with butter, vinegar, a couple of spices. One of those is a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic and then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, a good buffalo sauce doesn't have to be hot, right? People want it to be hot and that's cool. You can add more of the heat with the cayenne pepper if you wanna increase the heat. But the hot sauce level is great because that's a flavor balancer. Finally, we have some salt to taste. So what I like is typically about less than an eighth of a teaspoon. From there, we're gonna take this to the stove while everybody else takes it to the field. We're gonna heat it until it bubbles and keep stirring it constantly. This is the playbook for the perfect buffalo chicken wing dip. In a mixing bowl, eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Not colder, not warmer, room temperature. It's sat out for 20 minutes. After that, we have two cups of shredded dark meat chicken. You can use this off rotisserie chicken, or you could fry a bunch of chicken wings and peel them all out of there, but the dark meat is important because that replicates the chicken wing flavor. It gets greasy the way you want it, and this beautiful fatty flavor throughout. That's pretty important. Now from Epicus 2, we got some incredible cheeses, right? We got the Maytag blue cheese. Like this is shiny, beautiful. Like this will get you in a club sometimes. Definitely get into the VIP area in some stadiums. So we have a quarter cup of that crumbled blue cheese. We crumbled by hand. We also got from Epicus, Lake Effect Cheddar. Lake Effect used to be a cool bar in Baldwin's Hill, but this is a great sharp cheddar. We want white cheddar to kind of blend with the colors. So we've got eight ounces of it. We're gonna put six of the ounces shredded into our mixing bowl as well. The next ingredient is half a cup of a good blue cheese dressing. We made our own, but store-bought will work perfectly fine here. Football players wear helmets. Sometimes you gotta wear gloves to keep yourself safe. So we've got this beautiful buffalo wing sauce. That's gonna go in too, and we're gonna evenly stir every part of this until it gets really, really mixed up. It'll start being that normal classic orange color you like, so let's just get it all mixed up. We've got it evenly mixed. You know it's evenly mixed when you can no longer see big chunks of the cream cheese. So we've got an eight by eight tin foil pan. We like this because typically it's gonna be eaten at wherever you're going, a tailgate, your friend's house, uh, sprayed with cooking spray. We're going to take this beautiful dip and drop it all in there. We wanna spread it evenly so we've got a good, even representation of all the colors of the rainbow, the buffalo chicken wing dip. And whether you're a Buffalo fan, like some of you are, or a New York fan, like some of us are, or a Tuscan Raider fan, like other people are too, this dip makes everybody happy. So once we've got it evenly spread out, we've got another of those two ounces left over that awesome cheddar cheese. We're gonna drape this across the top, like one might drape a championship belt after they've thrown a touchdown pass or vanquished some bad guys. Like we're sliding for a first down, we're gonna slide this into the oven at 350 for about a half hour till it starts to bubble and get cheesy and good. When you dip, I dip, we dip, and this is the dip, y'all. So we've got it out of the oven, 
looking just spectacular. Like you don't want to touch it, it looks so good. But sometimes things look good, you gotta touch them. This is one of them, you gotta put it in your mouth. Chicken wing dip, when it comes out, we're gonna to top it pretty generously with some sliced green onions and we're gonna serve it with two different dipping tools. Now, the thing is, a lot of people sometimes will put diced pieces of celery into their chicken wing dip. The reason why we don't, even though we like it, is because some people don't like it. But we always serve it with that. Now, chicken wings go with blue cheese, not ranch. There's no debate on that. They're served with celery sticks. But our celery sticks here, we also got from our friends Epicus some chips. Spatchcock Funk only uses tortilla chips that come in paper bags. This is critical. Maybe a window so they can say hi to the world, but that's a big deal in terms of how things work. So what we might do is you can dip the dip in there, but we also like to take the celery and take a little scoop of that dark meat chicken, steamy, gooey goodness. Epic use, Spatchcock Funk. You at your next tailgate or your next part of your house. A touchdown every time. Dope food plus strong drinks equals great stories. Subscribe now for more recipes and bad jokes.